This is the fast and easy to understand video about the um, displays for the HX711 uh, weight scale chips. Um, the software in this one is really simple. Uh, the problem is with the instructions you find on the internet, they're really difficult to understand. And also the buttons, uh, all the text is written in Chinese. And it's none of the instructions shows you uh, what button is doing what and how. So I'm trying to do this really, really fast. Um, so the different buttons, they're explained here in the text, minus, plus. And uh, then this button is either next digit or a quick zero. So if I want to, uh, you know, quick zero, uh, whatever I have on, on it, like a relative measurement, then I can do that. This is the dot setting and the store. Um, so let's try and go uh, through this. Uh, first of all, you want to um, zero uh, the, the weight of uh, whatever you have on your sensor, like what I have right now. So to make this zero, you hold down the PL button for a few seconds. It writes PL so you know what you're doing. You can, of course, store other weights. If there is a weight on it that you want to add, you can change that. So let's say plus something or minus something here. Again, next digit. And then you can, of course, plus and minus whatever you want. When you're done with your low setting, you can do the store. And then it blinks a little bit like that to show you that now you have zero. So now it goes from zero. This is fantastic. Now you want to store a high setting. Use something uh, that you know how much weight it is exactly. I know these four pieces of metal is exactly 220 grams. So now they are on it. I will hold down the PL for a few seconds and it will say very convenient it will remember the last setting the last value that you input as you are storing uh, the high value uh, this is very very smart if you're doing calibrations again and again so you don't need to input exactly that value you can of course change it if you bought a new reference uh, weight but now this is my 220 like this then i store it and it's doing the blinkity blink to show you that it is stored. So now it is going directly from zero. After you have stored the high value, it will also change the gain of the amplifier and everything. So it is a good idea to go back and store the low. So you are sure you, you get a zero. So let's, okay, it is zero. Otherwise I will show you that I think I have written on one of these. No, it is gone. But I think this one was 56. Yeah, it was close to that. Okay, so if you want to um, weigh something relative from this, this one, then you do the quick zero like this. Now you have a zero from this one. You're doing relative. And then you can add another one and measure from that point on. Thank you for watching.